What up, y'all? It's UTXJG the Dime back again. I have some gameplay of the crew. First of all, shout out to LA Chaos. He was so gracious enough to give me a beta code. And I said, you know what? Sure, I will play the game. Really had no intention to playing it, but I realized I haven't played a racing game in a long time. I'm not really a racing game fan, at least traditional racers, but I did play a lot of racers when I was a child, and my favorite series was Test Drive. I know a lot of people's series with Need for Speed, mine was Test Drive. But anyways, let's move on. The Crew. Now, what game is a racing game without customization options for your car? A racing game is not a racing game without customization options. So right now, I'm showing you some of the customization options. Right now, we're going through the colors of course and it has a good amount of colors i like the colors on the cars it's not really the anything special not really anything spectacular but they have them of course going through some other options like some stickers you know um some decals for your car they also have interior designs exterior designs and then as you get on the performance of course you can customize everything from your wheels to your brakes to your suspension you know things like that everything that will be in a standard racing game to tune your car so nothing really special there but i do like the options and the cars look amazing as we move on we are now on the streets now we start off on the mean streets of detroit <laughs> i know you know likes to make fun of ethos in his city of detroit um but yeah that's where you start this game does have a story yes it does have a story and not to spoil things but it's kind of a typical undercover story so you have to be undercover and race kind of like a fast and furious need for speed style story so nothing really special as far as the story is concerned it's not anything that you haven't dealt with before in any movie or any video game but I do appreciate the fact that it has a story. I really didn't know much or really care to uh, to really find out a lot about this game. So I wasn't even sure if the game was going to have a story. I thought it was just going to be focused, you know, more on the racing and the whole co-op aspect of you getting, you know, an actual crew together. But I am pleasantly surprised to see that this does have a story. And since it has a story, low key, it kind of has me slightly interested not gonna lie i am slightly interested in this game now um as i'm driving on the streets you see that it has a lot of detail on the streets it definitely has a lot of detail and i wasn't really expecting that um i wasn't really sure how i really uh thought about this game period you know like i said i wasn't really um checking for this game so i had no idea what was in store as you see now i am in one of the races of course i have to get in first place this is a story mission this is a regular racing mission so i have to win <laughs> and if i don't obviously i fail and I have to start over um as far as the cars handle there is definitely weight on all the cars you have visible damage uh, of course each car depending on how you tune it will have its own different um its own different driving mechanics of course um you know i'm not really a car a car enthusiast so i'm not going to get farther into it but the one thing that people want to know because this is a ubisoft game does the driving feel like watchdogs no it does not feel like watchdogs and that is a great thing because as we all know the driving in watchdogs was pretty bad and if a game like this which is primarily focused on driving had the same driving mechanics as Watch Dogs, it would have been a terrible game. It would have been DOA. If you don't know what DOA is, dead on arrival. But no, this game does not have the same driving mechanics as Watch Dogs. So that is a very good thing. The cars are definitely more easy to handle and each of them have their own attributes. But you're not sliding all across the, you're not sliding all across the, uh, the concrete, y'all. You're not sliding all across the concrete. So one good thing, if you were worried about that, I got you. Now, as we move on, I'm showing you a view of the map. Now, you can drive around the entire U.S. Well, not the entire U.S., but the entire U.S. <laughs> um, so they do have, you know, a set amount of cities. Uh, surprisingly, they have St. Louis area as well. And I was about to drive there, but um, the game crashed on me. And that's one bad thing. Let me get on that really quick. The game crashed on me both times that I played. Um, this is a beta and I did notice that a lot of other people had this issue with the game crashing 
uh, hopefully they come out with this like patch before the beta is over because I'm not even sure when the beta is over but I would like to play this game a little bit more without it crashing on me while I'm in you know the middle of a mission so I was able to play like maybe a half an hour each session before it crashed but uh, yeah so moving on back to the map um, like I said, you know, you have the main cities in the U.S. that you can go to. And, of course, as you progress through the story, then more of the U.S. opens up. And you can go there, do more driving missions. Um, along with racing missions, you have getaway missions. You have jumps. You have special time trial missions. You know, all the standard missions that you would find in a racing game, um, especially an open world one. So that's pretty good you know you don't of course you have to do races of course for the story aspect and in order to get more parts special parts or whatever you have to do special races time trials so forth so what but it is nice to have a variety here so i really like that um other than that that's pretty much as far as what i've gotten out of the game since i've had a chance to play it um if you also notice up at the top that is the little um guide gps and i thought that initially this was going to be annoying because i was like well i gotta look up <laughs> but i actually find that the gps on this game is actually pretty interesting i like it it's not distracting it's up at the top so you know where you're going you don't have to look at the ground in order to find out where you're going or look at the map in order to find out you just have this little little whip or a lasso or whatever you want to call it that shows you the next place that you need to go so that's pretty interesting i i like the new ideas that the developers are coming up with for the gps system in the games they require you uh, to go from one place to another in open world environment very very nice other than that, besides the game crashing, I do not have any faults about this game. I mean, there's even visible car damage. Now, I do not know if you can crash and totally uh, total your car because, you know, I'm a bad driver, but I'm not that damn bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad now, so I haven't tried that out yet, but there's definitely visible car damage, so I know other people are like, you know, that's not real simulation. I know there are a lot of racing people that cannot stand that uh, for F a game does not have car damage you know they're not going to play it at all but this game does have car damage so uh, this is a really good thing other than that like i said you know this is a very solid racing game and i think i might actually want to pick this up uh, let me know your thoughts if you were thinking about picking up this game or your overall thoughts on it i'm jd the don i'm out peace